Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you some cool ways to use the tint color effect. So the tint effect is found in the video effects folder on the right hand side in the effects panel and it's under the color correction folder you should see tint. This is a really cool way to create two-toned or monochrome type of images. So if I click and drag it onto a sample clip, you'll see by default it'll be black and white so you have two parameters in the effects control panel mapping the black to a color and mapping the white to a color so it splits your photo into two tones black and white and you can choose which one so by default it's one way to get a black and white image you also have the amount of tint so you can go zero percent all the way to 100 percent so it's also another alternative way that you could kind of desaturate an image rather than going in your Lumetri color panel and doing the basic correction saturation. But the really cool part about this effect is that you can create color two-tone images. So instead of mapping the black to black, let's map the black to a really deep navy blue. We'll see that happens, I'll turn it back up to 100. And right now we have the navy blue to white. That's a cool effect. But what if I map the white to a bright blue this time? So do a bright blue. Now we've created this really cool two-tone effect and although you might not want this color on your whole video like a color grade, it can be really cool for title screens or splashes. So if I was to do a color effect on top of this, I could see this serving really well for like a transition screen or a color. Uh, the way that I've gotten this text to show up like this is just in the essential graphics panel. I'm using the font Futura, you can use whatever font you want, but instead of checking the fill for the appearance, I've checked the stroke and I've added a stroke of some thickness. So that's a cool little text effect side note. But you can see how this two-tone effect applied on there kind of pulls the eye away from the background and lets you focus on the text, which can be useful for title or transition screens like so. Another cool thing that you can do with the tint effect is two different colors. So instead of keeping it within the blue family or keeping it within the red family, like so, uh, we could do something completely different. Like I could make the shadows red, but I could make the highlights a green color. Now we've got a cool red and green effect. And this might be something where you would want to play around with it, maybe on a slightly lower opacity for a vintage film look, like a quick vintage film look, if you added some more texture contrast. One thing you might want to do afterwards is go in the Lumetri color panel, maybe play around with the contrast or exposure, play around with the curve section if you just wanted to add or influence the color more. But this is a really quick way to influence the shadow and the highlight color, almost like split toning for photos in Adobe Lightroom. And lastly, another cool idea you can have is instead of always keeping the darker color darker, is let's choose a bright color for the shadows, like a bright red. You already see a cool effect going on here. And let's choose a darker color for the highlights. So now we've kind of got this inverted effect going on, kind of like we inverted the photo and then tinted it, which can look really cool. Uh, this can also come in handy for, let's say you're working with texture type of images like this, and I wanted to use this tech, but I didn't want all these colors that were in the original clip. I can add the tint effect on here, just make it a little bit more abstract or fit it in better to my liking or color palette that I wanted. And now I've got this cool texture that again, I can use for like a cool title screen like so. Um, you see this a lot in like uh, some of the music streaming platforms use this kind of two-tone look a lot for their photos and, and promotional materials. And I can always blend the images with different blending modes after I did the two-tone effect. And you see the difference between blending it normally is, I mean, it still looks cool, but it has all the normal colors. But if I wanted to add the tint on there, we get a totally different effect if we wanted that more green look. 
So the two-tone effect is extremely simple and easy to use, but can still look good in a lot of different situations. So if you've enjoyed this video, check out some of the other tutorials in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.